get off at 12.30, his wife's in the lobby waiting for him. He's like, oh my God, he's always late, so she just goes home. I think she actually has something to do with it, though, because why, why would you... Oh! Why you, never mind, I'll get back to that. But anyway, this, this, no, Mr. Okay. Bart, I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, I think was lured to Mr. Bart's apartment for whatever reason. We think it might have been like a penthouse suite. So maybe Mr. Bart, Mr. Uh, Barton's apartment was like on the top floor or something. They've got an elevator with an elevator doorman because it's just that fancy. The basement, like Cordero said, is where you find the garage and the exit, like a little parking lot or whatever. So Mr. Thompson was probably lured to Mr. Barton's apartment. Mr. Barton said, oh yeah, let's talk business. Goes up there and shoots the guy. They get into a scuffle, and then Mr. Thompson tries to leave. He gets on the elevator. Mr. Scott, who's been hired as a hitman by Mr. Barton, stabs Mr. Mr. Thompson fatally when he's getting off the elevator in the basement, and then disposes of the body in the park. But also, we think that Mr. Barton actually follows Thompson onto the elevator, and then when they got down to the bottom to the uh, basement or whatever, Mr. Scott also killed Mr. Barton. And the reason why he had motive to kill Mr. Barton, even though he was hired by Mr. Barton, is because it was actually Mr. Barton who was sleeping with Mr. Scott. So that gave Mr. Scott motive to kill him. So Mr. Scott got his payoff from Mr. Barton to kill Mr. Thompson. And then he offered Mr. Barton also because he was having relations. And that's why they can't locate Mr. Barton because Mr. Scott offered them both. And they just disposed of both of them. And then after that, Mr. Scott went back home to his wife later on. And his wife probably complained about how oh, he's always waiting for me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>